Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone stuck on allow this device to access photos and videos. When connecting your iPhone to a computer or camera, your phone will pop up a message asking if you allow this device to access the photos and videos. This makes sure that only trusted and authorized devices can reach your data and privacy. All you need to do is to tap allow to grant or choose don't allow to deny. If the alert disappears after tapping, great, but some users see the iPhone stuck on allow this device to access photos and video screen. As a result, you can't find your Apple device in the computer or iPhone is frozen with a message so that you're unable to unlock and use it. Why is allow this device to access photos and videos stuck on iPhone screen? This annoying pop-up message stuck on screen can arise from various reasons. Here are the main causes. The poor USB connection. Your iPhone has a software glitch. The software version in your iPhone is too old. Unknown errors stop you to allow or not allow this device to access photos and videos. The touchscreen is unresponsive or damaged. Damaged charging port or other hardware malfunctions. Now, follow me to go through the phone stuck on allow this device to access photos and videos fix. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods to remove the access photos and videos pop-up step by step. They work for all iPhone models running from older iOS versions like iOS 12 to later iOS versions like iOS 18. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Unplug the cable then reconnect. As mentioned above, the message prompts as soon as you connect the iPhone to the computer or camera. So, when you see allow this device to access photos and videos stuck on iPhone, it's possible that the command doesn't deliver back to the device. For that, the first thing to do is to disconnect the cable from both the phone and device. Clean the dirt on the cable and port if any carefully. Then, reconnect the cable firmly to see if it stops an iPhone from asking allow this device to access photos and videos. Restart your iPhone and the device. In some cases, iPhone shows a message on the screen that says allow this device to access photos and videos, but won't empower you to tap allow or don't allow. This can be due to the system being temporarily frozen. You can perform a quick restart to resolve this problem. To restart an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, press and hold the volume up or down button in the side button and drag the power off slider to turn off the device. Then, wait 30 seconds and press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To restart an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, press and hold the side button and drag the power off slider to shut down the device. Then, wait 30 seconds and press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. See if you manage to remove allow this device to access photos and videos. A restart will cut down the connection, refresh your phone system, and then bring it back to the normal state after booting up. Force your iPhone to reboot. If the screen is still frozen and won't allow you to power off the device, then try to force restart your iPhone to fix allow this device to access photos and videos stuck on iPhone screen. Here's how to do that. To force restart an iPhone 8 or later iPhone models, press then quickly release the volume up button, press then quickly release the volume down button, then press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 7, press then hold both the volume down button and side button, then continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 6s, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button, then continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Check if your iPhone turns on without prompting allow this device to access photos and videos. Do an update on the iPhone and device. If you can still access the settings app when iPhone gets stuck on allow this device to access photos and videos, try to update the software. Here's how to do that. Open the settings app, scroll down and tap general. Find and choose software update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the download and install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. Updating the software helps eliminate if the outdated iOS causes allow this device to access photos and videos message to keep flashing on your iPhone screen. Fix the error in recovery mode. If nothing above works, one more advanced technique is to apply iPhone's recovery mode. After entering recovery mode, your iPhone can be quickly detected by the computer using the specific tool like Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder. 
It'll allow you to do an update or restore to fix any kind of software problems safely. If your iPhone is still frozen with a message showing allow this device to access photos and videos, give this a shot. Here's how to do that. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop, then download, install and run Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, the tool you use will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose Update will trigger a software update process. No data loss. Choose Restore will trigger a factory reset. This will result in data loss unless you have backups. Just make a choice based on your own cases. We recommend starting with the Update option. Fulfill all the on-screen prompts until the process is started. Wait patiently to get rid of allow this device to access photos and videos on iPhone. Hope your iPhone turns on and runs normally. Call an expert to help. In the previous five methods, we intend to show you fix the error caused by a software side issue. Though, it's likely that your iPhone is stuck on allow this device to access photos and videos because of the hardware components being damaged. For example, the broken charging port, the cracked screen, the internal connector getting wet, etc. If you still fail to stop the pop-up saying allow device to access photos and videos, don't hesitate going to your nearby Apple Repair Center to have it examined and repaired. And there you have it, folks. Hope the solutions in this video help fix iPhone allow this device to access photos and videos stuck. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.